Live from downtown Detroit, home of WDIV and Click on Detroit, Local 4 News at 6 starts now. There's outrage in Warren tonight over what some are calling a sneaky move by the city council to give themselves free health care for life. The first breaking news from Detroit's east side as crews continue to try to free a man trapped in a backyard trench. It's been going on for well over an hour yeah. now. Let's get back to Tim Pamplin, who's live near the scene on University Place, which is near Harper and Cadu. Any progress here, uh, Tim? Well, well, Devin, what I can tell you right now, it's been going on for a couple of hours now, uh, and the concern is, is mounting for the for the man who's stuck down in this trench. As we zoom in here, you'll see the uh, ladder unit dropping ropes down. Let's go upstairs to Skyfall, get a clearer shot of what's going on back there. Rather a confined space. You've got a broken down car, a ladder truck, and all these workmen trying to shore, all these firefighters trying to shore up uh, the, the earth around this trench. Uh, now, I just spoke to uh, the fire, Deputy Fire Commissioner for now. He tells us this is, in fact, a race against the time. He is conscious and he is talking to us, but, uh, uh, you know, this, these can, this can deteriorate pretty rapidly. It's cold out here. And it's, you know, it's, it's wet down there, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah, everybody's uh, working around the clock over there in the back of that home. Back up to Sky 4 there, you see them working away, trying to show it up. Now, if you come back to the ground here, back down to my camera, as I spin around here, you'll see they've set up this tent. Temperatures are dropping out here. This is for firefighters and medics. They're obviously down in that hole with this victim, trying to secure him, get him out alive. But they need to get warmed up. That's a warming tent for them. We'll stay on the scene, have updates as this story develops. That's the scene on the east side. Tim Pamplin, Local 4. Yeah, pretty urgent situation minute by minute. We'll keep updating that story. Now let's get to the outrage in Warren over what some are calling a golden parachute given on the way out the door. The city unanimously passed a resolution in September to grant themselves lifetime health care. Six of the seven on council are not coming back, including four who were term limited following a Michigan Supreme Court decision. Jason Colthorpe has been talking to everyone involved today, and it's clear this is getting swift action. Absolutely, guys. The story which broke in the Macomb Daily Sunday has gotten immediate reaction today from Mayor Jim Fouts, the new council president, Pat Green, and some of those outgoing council members who now say they didn't realize what they were voting for, and if they had, they would have voted no. If you work for the city of Warren for at least 25 years, you and your family get free lifetime health insurance. But a recent city council resolution changed that to employees who work just eight years and would be retroactive to include all past employees. With this affecting thousands of people and having a great financial impact on the city, you might think that there would be some lengthy discussion about this when it was introduced at the meeting on September 10th. Well, you'd be wrong. Consideration adoption of a resolution approving the continuation of health insurance coverages. The resolution was read and passed in less than 30 seconds. So moved to support the amendment. Motion by Bach Community support by Stevens. Is there discussion? This was done to the best of our ability, I think, at the time. I don't believe anything was done to... Uh, now, former Council Secretary Robert Bacamino says this vote was fast because it was just a first step in the process. But he does think council members who are term limited should have a chance at free lifetime health care. There's no way a council person could ever get 25 years under this new plan. So I think it's a normal fear question to ask at September 10th meeting. Um, could there have been more discussion? Sure. Uh, but at the time, it wasn't guaranteeing us lifetime health insurance or any insurance. All it is is asking the city to punch the numbers, do the research. I am clearly outraged and angry about what took place. Mayor Jim Fouch showed us paperwork that the council submitted the measure to his office at 5.50 p.m. September 13th after business hours, nullifying any chance of his veto. The bottom line is this is unconscionable, unthinkable, beyond my wildest imagination that they would come up with something like this it will not be implemented. I guarantee that. Now, the new council president also said it would be a first priority to try and unwind all of this. The mayor's office is also investigating and wants to know if any other city employees were involved in even drafting this resolution, hinting there could be some repercussions for whoever that might be. The mayor does not look too pleased at no. all about this. There's a lot of people upset. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering, though, could the city even pay for this? Yeah, could that's, you afford it to begin right, with? Right. Yeah, yeah. You're including a whole lot of a uh, whole pool of people that weren't covered before. And uh, what they've said is they skipped, the city thinks they've skipped 
skip that step altogether. But Bacamino said this was that step. When they kick it to the retirement committee, which takes it up on Wednesday, they look at it. If they, they realize if they can pay for it, it goes forward. If not, it's dead in the water. Yeah. But mm. we'll see. Yeah. Right. We'll watch for Wednesday. Yes. All right, Jason. Wow. All right. Uh, well, we've been hearing that drip. Drip. Mm -hmm. Drip. All over Metro Detroit as snow and ice slowly melts here. A good thing. It means it's finally warm enough for that. Um, but that's, of course, causing its own problems. We'll get to that in just a second. But first, uh, Ben, with our warming trend. Yeah, guys, the uh, 50 degree temperature that we saw today was responsible for a lot of those drips. Unfortunately, we're not going to get back there until maybe Thursday. But that's coming with rain, so at least we are going to see temperatures above freezing here from now all the way through. We're talking day and night all the way through Monday morning, at least in the metro zone. You can see tonight we're going to get awfully close to that mark by midnight. However, numbers actually coming up a bit as we head towards daybreak on Tuesday. So you can see that the high temperatures are actually going to go back to 50 there on Thursday. Then they fall again as we get into the weekend and early next week. So we're not going to spend a whole lot of time above that average high in the upper 40s. But at least we are going to get some good melting in as we get through the next several days. Kim? All right, well, it's tough enough raking leaves on grass, but try raking leaves that have fallen on top of the snow, not to mention the leaves that are under the snow. It's a mess. On top of the hassle, all of it could cause some problems in your home. Jamie Edmonds has more. It's been an interesting fall, to say the least. Before the leaves have all come down, we have this huge snowstorm and it's creating havoc on your gutters. This year, unfortunately, the leaves didn't come down till late. And once the leaves hit, uh, we then got a snow on top of it. That's Joseph Claycomb of J&J &J Roofing in St. Clair Shores. He says their phones have been ringing off the hook as homeowners notice icicles forming on their gutters, and it's not a good thing. We've had quite a few calls. Ice dams occur after a heavy snowfall when warm air in the attic causes the roof to warm up and the snow to melt. Water then runs down the roof, refreezes when it reaches the edge, forming a mound of ice. In cases right now, all over Metro Detroit, gutters are still filled with leaves, adding to the problem. A perfect example of what happened was uh, the leaves came down, they rolled right into the gutters, and the gutters filled up with the leaves and then the snow came after that with consequently the melting and now you've got the icicles and the gutter is full and that water isn't going anywhere right now. Claycomb says even if you don't see icicles, it's best to get the snow off of your roof to prevent yeah, further rally. problems. And once all of this snow melts, he says, clean your gutters. Now I talked to the local forecasters. They say temperatures should reach the 40s through Thursday. So snow like this should melt this week. And you may have some questions then about leaf pickup. Well, we've done the legwork for you. We know about your community. Go and click on Detroit.com to get the information. In St. Clair Shores, Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. Right, Jamie, a child beaten until he was unconscious on the school bus. His parents say the driver handled it all wrong. And now that child's parents are speaking out and our Victor Williams is live with more on what they had to say. Victor, good evening. Good evening, Devin and Kimberly. When you put your kids on the bus in the morning, you expect them to return to you just fine. But that didn't happen for one father and his 15 year old son at Lincoln High. Ivory Trailer still can't get the images of his 15 year old son lying unconscious out of his mind. Man, that's one of the hardest things to talk about. I mean, he didn't even know who I was. He didn't know who his mom was. The Lincoln High sophomore was allegedly knocked out cold by a 17 year old senior while on the way to school and his little sister watched the entire thing taking place. Concussion type injuries, brain, you know, has yet to be determined, but it's severe head trauma. But here's where the story gets even more complicated. The bus driver proceeded on its normal route like nothing ever happened. Neglected by the bus driver. Mm -hmm. that's, 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 that's what's so egregious. You had kids walking over him and she's still making stops for about 10 minutes. Trailer says the district has yet to do anything about the incident and now wants answers. This has been an issue that's been going on from my understanding with Lincoln for at least five or six years. And it, 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 I hate that it had to go to this standpoint for it to, to hit home for my kid, but it's gotta stop right here. 
Now the district did release a letter online informing parents of what happened, but at this point it is unclear whether the student or the bus driver received any type of disciplinary action whatsoever. Reporting live out here, Victor Williams, Local 4. Unbelievable. Okay, Victor, thanks. Well, up next, police in Macomb County say a pair of shoplifters rolled into a store parking lot in style. See what they rolled out with without paying. That's next.